How to date is an impotent 22 years old. Like the title states I'm a guy who can't have PIV sex at all. I'm sure I don't have to tell you how difficult this is during your 20s and in the dating world. I've met and hit off with lots of women but the second they show interest I kind of just push them away because of this problem. To say it's depressing is an understatement. Here I am in my early 20s, where I looked forward to experiencing this intimate act only to be utterly disappointed. I know there are other ways of sex besides PIV but I'd say to the average woman my age it's a deal breaker. I guess I'm looking for any advice in terms of when to bring up my condition and how to break it to a girl I might like. Also if there are any others that experience this, I'd appreciate any tips of how you got through it. I've tried all the doctors and seen urologists but found no luck. It's not something curable or treatable. Thanks for your help. Too long did not read. Impotent 22 years old guy trying to navigate dating world. First get therapy. This is something you need to accept as a part of who you are, and not let any emotional issues stemming from that transfer into your relationships. There are plenty of reasons that relationships don't work out and most of them aren't about sex. Second be open and transparent. Do not rely on porn to teach you anything about a woman's body. It's made for men. Rely on communication with your specific partner on what they do and do not like. I dated someone with this problem and I was fine with it because he had a bunch of toys and was always doing crazy stuff to me. Sex is a lot more than penetration. How about you just communicate and tell dates the truth when the time is right? If you want a relationship communication is important so don't hide something like this. I guarantee not all will run to the hills and some will be understanding. There's other things you can do besides PIV. You're pushing them away without giving them a chance. I think your best best is going onto a specialized daring app. For e.g. There are apps for asexual people. And that doesn't necessarily mean no intimacy or physical connection. Some asexual folks still enjoy hugs and snuggling but aren't interested in sex. Or I'd look for women who deal with vaginal issues that make penetration too painful. Maybe post a personal ad or some such. I'd be very upfront on whatever apps you use and I'm sure you'll find some takers. Look into finding an asexual woman. To be honest women on Reddit may say they are okay with your condition, but in reality, a large majority would not be okay with it given there are so many options for the average woman. Having said that, you only need to find woman who accepts you with this condition, so don't give up but realize that it is going to be a long journey and maybe a frustrating and long one before you find her. But you will find her. There are some child-free women your age who are terrified of getting pregnant, tocophobia. Some of them refuse to have PIV sex for that very reason. Could be a match made in heaven. Lots of good advice here. You might also find it interesting to get involved with the queer community. People there will be more used to sex being a much broader range of activities than PIV and you might find starting the conversations less intimidating. I'd recommend the app field if it exists in your country. Just out that you're looking for someone who never wants PIV sex. There's lot of people like that out there. I'm a straight woman and I wouldn't have issues with this when I was dating. I think what could be an issue is if we have very different needs of intimacy, if he wouldn't want to be close to me that way. Another issue could be insecurity. I could feel insecure about not being able to please the guy, and would probably feel selfish for receiving orgasm but perhaps having difficulties pleasing him. I think it would really help if the guy knows what he wants when it comes to intimacy, what he hopes to get out of it. And that he's making it clear that he is open and curious about me and about exploring sex toys, fantasies. Remember a lot of dudes out there do only offer women PIV sex, I'm confident you can compete with that by only being a bit creative. Op, if it helps, there's actually a lot of women who have vaginal pain illnesses, like vaginismus, where this would basically be a selling point, and many of them have dealt with rejection from dudes who expected PIV that they can't deliver on. You just need to find your market lol. Don't let this discourage you from finding a woman who makes you happy and vice versa. If you really hit it off with someone, you can possibly tell them that you aren't looking for penetrative sex or even sex at all early on in the relationship. It could make it less awkward than having to share your condition. If she's totally cool with it, then it may make you feel better when you are ready to share the real reason. If it's a concern about not being fully transparent, I personally don't believe anyone has to disclose medical conditions so early in a relationship and this is just a suggestion. As far as having sex goes, you can do a lot more with your hands, mouth, and toys than many guys can do with a penis. There are many women who love guys who are enthusiastic about using toys. As someone who has some circumstances which is usually considered a deal breaker, 
the advice I can give you is that it's all about how you bring it up. Invite him to ask questions. Wait until you've gotten to know them. Be honest and transparent. Explain that it's a medical condition. Be honest about how it affects you and how it doesn't. And if someone can't accept it then you aren't compatible with them anyways. You deserve someone who accepts you for who you are. It matters how you bring it up. You don't have to hate yourself for your circumstances. You are a man regardless with a lot to offer and the right woman will see past it. You deserve to be loved. And I truly believe you will find someone willing to accept you. How would you feel about dating someone who was asexual? Or who wasn't asexual per se, but similar to you couldn't have sex for some medical reason? Many women don't orgasm with PIV sex. There are plenty of ways to make your girl feel loved and build in that connection and orgasm without it. Also, seek help because you seem to be pushing him away without giving him the chance to accept you. Sounds like you do not accept it yourself. So you've actually been told that there is a medical reason you're impotent. It's not a mental issue. I'm a woman and PIV is my least favorite part of sex, and I could go my whole life without it honestly. Get good at everything else and any girl will have nothing to complain about. I think this is one of those things where your conversation partner will react to it largely based on your emotional cues when you bring it up. If you can talk about it without a noticeable change in your mood I think your dates will be relaxed.